In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's all the Lord needs from you. Praise God. I want to, I have a word for us this morning and that word is acceleration. Acceleration. The Lord says I should tell somebody here you are entering a time and a season of acceleration. Of every good thing that the Lord has promised you in his word written and the ones he has spoken maybe through a prophecy maybe there are certain things you're expecting and you're wondering why is it so slow why has it been delayed the lord says i need to announce to someone here you are entering a season of acceleration everything you say no work maybe god has started something in your life he that a good work in your life is gonna perfect it's gonna finish it god is not involved in abandoned projects he doesn't do anything halfway. That's why he himself will not be thing and be debt free. As a sign. You're going to be a sign. Can I have an email from someone? Because a short word will the Lord make. Now when we get to heaven, while we're here on earth, can somebody stamp on the floor? Are you on earth? Are you on earth? A short walk will the Lord do in your life acceleration acceleration it's going to pick up it's going to speed it up the first miracle that jesus performed on earth was a miracle of acceleration there's a law of first mentions in the scripture whenever you want to know god's real plan and heart about something find out where it is written first for instance the man the mc said wow this is the best why are you saving the best for the last and so so what happened it came out of me I buffed eternity. So deal with that in your, with your mind. <laughs> you can't. That's the God that we serve. And so he can compress time, elongate time. He can do whatever he wants to do with time. And for, for some of us here, there's some, oh, and God says, I'm going to restore time. I'm going to restore time. The time that the canker worm has stolen, the time that the caterpillar has stolen, when you look back, you will not need to look back and regret. Even the mistakes May I'm speaking to somebody here. Even the mistakes you made in your past, hand it over to me, said the Lord, and I'm going to make something good out of it yet. Hey! Hey! You will not need to live life with regret because you are a daughter of the king, you are a son of the king. So, Jesus, his, and this was the beginning of miracles and the bible says so that and he made his glory known you read that in john chapter 2 verses 1 to 11 when the glory of god is in a place we begin to see acceleration everything accelerates healings accelerate breakthroughs accelerate uh, finances accelerate peace accelerates favor accelerates and the glory of god is here this morning can somebody say amen we are even in the natural world even right now we're living in of acceleration knowledge is accelerating jesus christ prophesied it and he said that knowledge is going to explode in those last days and we're seeing that right now in computing this moore's law how many of you have heard of moore's law all right well check it google it that means the number of transistors that can be put in a circuit doubles every 18 months and for those of us who are normal who are not geeks what that means for instance my iphone and this is not the this is not iPhone X or iPhone. Yeah, I won't tell you which iPhone is this. Is, but yeah, but this particular iPhone that I have has more computer power in it than the computer that that put the first man on the moon. Can you imagine that? That means. When, when they were going to the moon with the computer, everybody was like, ooh, wow. But now, I have more computer processing and knowledge and advancement in this in my pocket than they had in the first vessel that took them to the moon. So I'm thinking, in 20 years' time, I, maybe we're not going to be using things like this. Maybe I'll be speaking and I'll, need to be, I'll not need to use a microphone. Praise God. Oh, I don't know yet, but everything is accelerating. But guess what? In the realm of the spirit, that is where a lot of this acceleration originates from. And so the church, the Lord says, says, I should tell you the church, we need to learn to accelerate. There's an acceleration of things uh, even in the supernatural. Can someone say amen? Amos chapter 9 verse 13. 
I just do one or two more scriptures and I want us to just believe God for acceleration. There's some of us who feel, well, we're marking, I'm marking time. No more. A new grace is coming upon you from today to pick up speed. Your life is going to pick up speed in Jesus' mighty name. You say, I'm going round and round and round and round. I'm not making progress. No more. You're going to make progress. In a short time, you're going to make big progress in Jesus' name. You, you need to adjust. Now, I mean, oh, I've got, to, I've got to read the scripture for you. All right. Amos chapter 9, verse 13. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Two seasons are going to merge into the other. While you're planting, you're going to be harvesting. Almost like there's no time. Now, it should, maybe it should take eight months or nine months or ten months or twelve months. But why, as, soon as, as soon as you put it in, it has become a full. I mean, God is a God of process. He's a God of process. But there are sometimes it essence the process. Just by his divine predetermined plan. And I believe someone here, if you can say amen, you are entering that season in Jesus' name. And he says, uh, and the tread of grapes shall overcome, uh, overtake him that sow seed, and the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. I, wa I, want, I want to read this in the Message Bible. I don't know if we have a the Message Translation, but listen, get ready for your mind, for God to blow your mind. Amen. All right. Do you have a Message? I have a Message Translation here, so let me go to the Message. Amos 9, 13. He says in the Message, listen to this now. It says, yes, indeed. It won't be long now. God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast. Your head will swim. Listen. <laughs> uh, lift, lift your hand and say, Lord, I'm ready. Things are going to happen so fast. Your head will swim. We saw a God suddenly. Suddenly from heaven came sound of a Russian mighty wind. The same way. Suddenly. Sudden, at a, one day, Joseph was in prison clothes. In the jail. Before the end of the day, he was sitting on the throne. Ruling Egypt. Suddenly. Things will happen for someone here so fast. Your head will swim. Oh, cool. I need you to just take 30 seconds and just wave your hand and tell the Lord, I receive it. <laughs> oh, oh, let it be unto me according to your word. Somebody say amen. Right. I go on reading and that's not the end. It says, things are going to happen so fast, your head will swim. One thing fast on the heels of the other. One good thing fast on the heels of another good thing. One good thing fast on the heels of another. This is God's word to someone here today. One good thing uh, on the heels of the other. Oh yeah, things are going to happen so, so fast your head will swim. One fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. You see, when this began to happen for me, before I used to be able to keep up with healing miracles. Now I can't anymore. A new dimension that the, the things are so many that I cannot, I can, uh, now it's, if, if the healings don't take place, that's when I get surprised. I can't catch, there was a time in our ministry, we used to, oh yeah, we know, oh this healing happened today. This, uh, but now it's so, uh, I mean, it's difficult to count, it's difficult to keep up with who is getting healed, so many. So, so God and, and, and God is saying, I'm accelerating in every other area, just in the healings, favor, breakthroughs, health, and various things. And then it goes on to say, everything will be happening at once. And everywhere you look, blessings. All around you, blessing. Everywhere you look, blessing. You look to the north, blessing. You look to South, bless it. You look to the east, bless it. You look to the west, bless it. Surrounded by blessing. Can somebody get up on their feet and just go, just go around? Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere you look. What? I can't hear you. Everywhere you look. What? What do you say? Everywhere you look. What? All right. Amen. Take your seat for a moment. Praise the Lord. 
blessings like wine pouring of the mountains and the hills. I'll make everything right again for my people. If you're a part of God's will, say amen. <laughs> Maybe you've been waiting on the Lord. The Lord says your season of breakthrough has come. Your season of acceleration has come. In Numbers 17, just as a see, God is going to make you as a showpiece. He's going to make you a showpiece that people can look at you and know he serves a good God. He says, I am the good shepherd. John chapter 10. How do you know a good shepherd? You check the sheep they're watching over. That's how you know this, this is a good. If the sheep looks crony, gaunt, uh, starving, then you say, oh, who is the shepherd here? But if you see the sheep, they look nice, robust, fleshy, rich, and blessed. You say, oh, ha, 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 ha. wow, this is a good shepherd. And God says, I will not get any other name apart from being called a good shepherd. That's why I need to display my beauty, my wealth, my blessing on you. I need to show. The only way the world will know I'm a good God is when I display my goodness on you. Can you say amen to someone now? And so get ready. God's going to use you to let the world know it is a good thing to serve the Lord. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. It's coming. Numbers 17, 6 to 10. The, the people challenged Moses and Aaron and said, Oh, what do you mean? And said, Let everybody bring their rods. And the Bible said that the rod. Long story short, the rod of Aaron did what? It budded. And that was how it sprouted. It budded. And that was how they knew God was with Aaron. What does that mean to us, brothers and sisters? You see, it takes... Hmm, amen. It takes an almond tree, when you plant it, it takes 5 to 12 years. Before it begins to bud and bring forth fruit, normally. So overnight, within twelve hours, what should have taken five? Oh, somebody, acceleration, somebody here should have taken five to twelve years in the natural to achieve. God moved in with His glory, and just within twelve hours, it was done as a sign that God, God's approval was upon Aaron. You are serving the Lord. God's approval is upon you. So get ready. God's going to do so many miracles of acceleration in your life to let people know that you are the anointed one. You are the appointed one. You are the beloved one of the Lord. That God's hands, it, that it pays to serve the Lord. Can I have three amens in the house? Come on. Come on. One more. Glory, glory, glory. God said in Psalm 18 verse 33 that he will make our feet like hinds feet. That's talking about speed and acceleration. The hind is a female deer known for its swiftness, its speed, its ability to accelerate. That's what you've come to receive today. An ability to accelerate. God's speed resting on your life in Jesus' mighty name. And with that acceleration, you're going to be an overtaker. Don't get, don't get surprised. You're going to overtake. Amen. You're going to overtake. Amen. You're going to overtake lack. Time to prosperity. You are going to overtake sickness and enter into healing. You are going to overtake loss and enter into restoration. You are going to overtake yokes and bondages and enter into a new anointing. Say amen, somebody. Say amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Finally, I heard of the Asian bamboo tree. The Asian bamboo tree. I learned that when the bamboo seedling is planted under the ground, planted under the ground nothing happens the first week nothing happens the second week the first month the second month six months nine months one year nothing comes out but they keep on waiting watering second year nothing on off the ground but it's under you, you mark where you put it but nothing shows up Two whole years, 24 months, nothing shows up. 36 months, three years, nothing shows up. Oh, some other plants have already come up and they are dead and gone. But it's there. But the fourth year, 
the fourth year, all of a sudden, it sprouts from the ground. And within six weeks of sprouting, it grows 80 feet high. 80 feet high. That's at least 8 to 10 story building. Looking down at all the other trees that thought they've been around things. And the Lord says, that kind of sudden breakthrough is coming your way. All of a sudden, you come up and within a short while, you're taller, bigger. You've gone farther than all the others that thought maybe you were wasting your time. Maybe God has abandoned you. Maybe there's nothing happening in your life. You're going to see that's the word of the Lord unto you. You're going to grow so tall within a short time. And the Lord God says, I'm going to do it for you. Stand up, everybody. Woo! Woo! When they look at you and they tell you, you're an overnight, you're an overnight sensation. You tell them, uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. If I am an overnight wonder, I have just woken up from the longest night of my life. <laughs> now, you tell them I've been there one year, two years, three years, four years, nobody. The four, all of a sudden, when God's time and when it was right, when the time was right, and somebody here, you are, you're believing God for a husband. Where's my husband? Where's my wife? No worry. God is putting mustache on him. Relax, it's coming. He, God is pro. God doesn't just want to give you just any kind of guy wearing trousers. He's gonna give you a boss. 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 Tall, dark, handsome, and loaded. Wait on the Lord. Can I prophesy? I'm not even looking at anybody now. Wait on the Lord. <laughs> then all your other friends, the girls, who say, how did you get this guy? How did you? You tell them, oh, the Lord provided. The anointing of acceleration king. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> Somebody shout, amen. Oh, lift up your hands and tell the Lord. Say after me, Lord, I receive your word. I receive acceleration of time i am getting my breakthroughs quickly the lord no no you know, genesis 27 i gotta say this you know that was i jacob isaac uh, isaac and esau and jacob and isaac isaac said you know what jacob said to isaac i or to esau i need game and then quickly Isaac and his mother and then brought the food. Jacob and, and the mother. Jacob and mother. And their father said, Oh, what's happening? You've brought what did the son say? The Lord has brought it. He didn't say the Lord gave it to me. He said, The Lord has brought it to your servant. And his father did not argue. Why? Because they were used, these were covenant people. These were anointed, this was an anointed family. They were used to God working in their family and they were used to miracles of acceleration. That was why the father did not query that statement. That was why he knew what to say. Father, your, your God has brought it to me. Listen, when people are running all over from Pilato Post looking for things, the Lord will bring it to you easily, quickly. Lift your two hands. <laughs> Wave your hands. Lord, I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. 
Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed, blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, your word has gone forth. Thank you for release, the release, the release, acceleration of your word. You hasten your word to perform it. You accelerate your word to perform it. Let your word pick up pace in its fulfillment in our lives. In the name of Jesus, thank you for acceleration in the area of healing. Your health. Come on. If you if you are sick, you need if you need healing. The word of God says Isaiah 58 8. Your health shall spring forth speedily. Accelerated manifestation. Accelerated. If you need healing, touch your chest, touch your head, touch your back, whatever it is. In the name of Jesus, I command healing in this house. I command the healing of God. I take authority over sickness, spirit of infirmity. Go. I cast you out of this life. So in Jesus' name, I release the healing glory. Present God. We heal the whole in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Now, if it's you, come and do what you could not do before. Breathe in, breathe in and out. If it's your back, touch your toes. If it's your side move the side if it's a joint just move you are healed already you are whole already check your eyes check your earrings Deaf ears open in the name of jesus nervous condition the whole perfect neighbor new creative miracles of body organs let there be miracle provision brand new organs in the name of jesus that blood, that blood pressure goes to normal. That blood count goes to normal. That blood sugar goes to normal count. In the name of Jesus Christ, that physical, that body is working. That organ is working perfectly. 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 Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say good amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Wow. How many of you, you felt the Lord was speaking to you today? Can I see your hand? Wave it to the Lord. You've got to receive it. It is heavenly protocol, divine protocol. When God brings a blessing, you've got to tell the Lord with your mouth, I receive it. Uh, because God, God's not, God's not going to force it on you. But you got to say, Lord, I receive it. Come on, tell heaven. Lord, I receive it all. I receive it. You can even specify the word. Uh, that word favor that word about real estate and property that word about healing now i receive it that word about relationship life partner i receive whatever tell the lord i receive it of you i receive it now in the name of jesus where is that be your name father hallelujah I hear the Lord saying, I have raised this house as a special lighthouse in this city and state and region and in due course in this land and other lands. So value my grace upon this house. Treasure my hand treasure my voice treasure my words upon that is flowing out of this place and go with the vision that I've given my servant to pass on to you and as you run in it you shall prosper you, you'll not need to in your lives because you are in the center of my will thank you Father Amen are you blessed today? Are you blessed? When you get home, give in your lines, and you're gonna he's gonna tell you what they are and how to utilize it. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Well, thank you, man of God. Do you want me to say anything? Yeah, that that board game. You see, God is gonna do. God has graces and giftings that we've not seen before. He's going to unveil. God is going to take over Hollywood and all the woods in my own country. Every flesh, every grass in the field. And God is going to touch even unbelievers without their permission.
We're going to go watch some, some movie, not knowing that it's been created by, maybe it doesn't have the title, Jesus of Nazareth, but it's been created by believers. And that movie screen is going to be a portal. <laughs> Heaven grabs them. Watch America is not going to the devil. God's investment is too much on America. If you want to hear news from heaven, get ready for another great awakening. Forget about all the people that feel they hate God. They want to remove God from them. They don't like churches. They want to remove God from the, from the in God we trust. They are not going to do it. They cannot. They cannot do it. Some, some news media houses that are against righteousness are going to fold up. And others will be bought by some of you here. You buy them over. It's coming in America. Buy them over. Some of them, they're going to go run, they're going to run into bankruptcy by divine order. And they will sell the, those outfits of uh, peanuts. And you just be there with the peanuts. It's coming. I've seen it many times in this nation. The stadiums are going to be filled with people seeking the Lord. And Sunday morning will not be popular for sailing and golf. The house of the Lord will be filled. Just 60, 70 years ago, that was how it was in America. It's coming back. It's coming back. Amen. And there's going to be films. Not films where they kill and all these horror films. Movies and games. But games like this board game. Treasure game. Amen. Get it. Play. Have fun. Enjoy life. Clean fun. I trust fun. And that's part of it. You and your family. You learn about God, you have fun, you laugh, you enjoy yourself, and that's that board game. Um, how much is it? Ten for a yeah, for a for a blessing of ten dollars. <laughs> and the book is also ten dollars. Yeah. Now you want to know how I do I don't do all of this because I drop from heaven with a gift. No, 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 no. So all the know things and flow in the spirit get a book man of God thank you um, uh, well you are the two of you are special and special and you have an assignment from heaven amen God, you know, showed me. It's, you know, since we started the service, and it's been coming back again and again. God reminded me the very first, I believe it was the very first time we came to the U.S. That was in 98. 98 that was 98. 1998, right? And we went to minister in this church. Um, was in, was that the... Detroit. It was in Detroit. Uh, the one in New York. Was that Brooklyn or Bronx? Oh, Bronx. 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 Bronx, Bronx, Bronx. About the size of congregation. The you know, um, started a while, but today God has blessed them. They bought their own property. They have properties. Yeah, properties. They have two different churches. One is Hispanic, you know, and yes, and uh, and the other one is English. Um, English speaking. And they also have a church in in Texas. In Texas. Okay, and you know, the churches are doing well. And God says that that is what he's going to do with Redemption House. So I want you to know that if you're part of this, if you're not a part, you need to be a part. Okay, it doesn't matter how long you drive. And you know, let me also say this. Those houses will manifest. And the houses will be in different places. It doesn't matter where the houses are. You still have to come here. Or wherever Redemption House is. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say, yeah. Yeah. Okay, the ministry is going and I want to encourage you to develop yourself because God is going to use you in the growth and expansion of this ministry. 
Amen. Now let's welcome the man of God, Reverend Vicar. From Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, for a very good reason, for a very good reason, uh, time has been well invested. And I want to thank everyone for the love that you have for God, for the love that you have for us, for the love that you have uh, for Redemption House. Amen. I think the people that are not here missed a lot today. <laughs> I just want to say a very big thank you uh, to Pastor Yinka and Pastor Adiola. Amen. Uh, this is just the first time they are coming back many, many, many more times. Somebody shout a big amen. amen. And you can all see the fortress uh, of the grace of God upon uh, Pastor Adeola. So Pastor Adeola is coming uh, to do our own ministration. And that is going to be soon. Somebody shout a big amen. amen. Just want to say we love you so much. God bless you. There is a table there right after we finish sharing the grace. Just stay with me, everyone. We're going to close the service in a minute. Uh, if you want Pastor Yinka and Pastor Adiola to autograph those materials for you, uh, they are going to do that. That's why you have the cheers right by that table. Somebody shout a big amen to that. Okay, so let's give our offerings. I wanted my wife to do that, but I might as well do that right now. Let's give our offerings and uh, just rejoice before the Lord. Before we go, can we do that? Amen. Can we do that? Amen. Let's rise up and do that with worship. Don't forget our 6 p.m. service at the YMCA our Redemption House Seekers Hour. We want you to please join us. It's going to be a glorious, glorious time again. I tell everyone within the community of Astoria to be part of our Seekers service tonight at 6 p.m. PM. Lift up those offerings unto the Lord and lift up your hands if you can. Everyone rising up uh, in reverence of God. I want to.